I would recommend about 10 foot cotton rope. Me, I recycle, so I've been at it for a while, so I just use one of my old areas. Uh, I got an old broken lunge whip to kill with. And also, I got my handy dandy wore out saws with. So, the first thing we want to do is get the horse used to the rope. You just don't put a rope around a horse's leg and fasten around that saddle horn, however, and, and just tighten them down. But before I even start my cues, so working with bow, I'll just put that around his pasture and I'll pull and release. Pull and release. Pull and release. So that way he gets used to it and try to keep it down to a minimal. Now from there, this is why I use the saddle. I'll put my rope over my saddle horn. And actually I'm jumping the gun. So what I'm going to do is take whichever you're comfortable with, either with lunch whip or a long one to cue. Got your choice, either a short uh, dressage whip or my uh, fancy cue stick, broken lunch whip, which I love. Recycle people, recycle. You don't have to go out and buy a $40, $60 stick. There you go, just recycle. So, what I'm going to do is tap and pull. Tap and pull. And you notice I hold it for a little bit, I just don't put it down. I'll tap, give him a chance, he picks it up, and when he picks it up, that time I pull. Now yeah, there's a, it's shortcuts, but I'm not going to show them. My thing is safety for this horse, you know. That's the big thing, safety, safety. I'll tap, tap, he picks it up a little bit, then I pull. And he's being a burger. And actually, some horses does got come that easy. Now you notice I haven't put added no treats yet because it's not time. I'm not going to do that. Even though he prefers. So from here, I got a rope around the saddle horn. I tap. He picks up. I pull the slack out. I get in here. Ask for a back. And this is where I'll introduce the treat. Now you notice how he went to get up and I pulled him down. I don't want him to learn just to get right back up. I want him to stay there a little bit. Teaching a horse to bow is really simple, people. It's not that hard. Tap again, picks up, grab his head, ask for it back again, comes down. That time I wasn't quick enough to catch him, so I'm going to put him right back down. Now see, that time I didn't give him a treat because he didn't stay. The only time he gets that little bit of handful of grain is what he does it correct way. That's the back up. That's variation of the bow. So I wasn't gonna let him up. Now on that part you gotta be tricky if there he's if you see a fight coming, you let him go and redo it. There's nothing wrong with that. Me, I know how much he's going to fight. And I know how far I can go before it's dangerous for me or him. A tap. Now back him up. Now 
on my tapping, I tap light first and I tap hard and hard until I feel him to give to it. And I keep that rope on him until I can just do this and he picks it up. Like right now, see I got a tap and he's not picking it up all the way. So I'll keep this rope on him. Now when he gets the bow down consistently, it'll be easy to teach him to lay down. I mean, it's just one process. I'll kill him to bow down, then I'll just sort of finagle his head a little bit and throw his weight to one side and, and he just gently lays down. So that's why I said it's all progression. And this is real simple, but always remember safety first for the horse and you. And uh, I've seen some people she show how you grab the foot and hold it and then get between them. I'll do it at Brave Eagle because it's not that bad. But I'll see them do this number. Grab here, and grab here, and they're all like this. Now look at that. There's something wrong with that picture. We start pitch showing that because where are you? You're right, you're bent down on a horse that doesn't know how to bow. That's why will give you resistance. And they give you so much resistance that I will throw you aside and step on you. So, you know, I don't recommend that. that. That is very foolish to even try it. And, you know, but everybody's got their different ways. But some things, people are just common sense. If it doesn't look right, guess what? It probably isn't. So this is a simple way of doing it. The horse is not, if you follow the simple steps, you know, that's pretty how long does it take the horse to learn it? It does take, it all depends on the horse. I did a little buckskin horse one time. The woman in Norco wanted me to teach the horse to bow, so that was one of the instances I went ahead and did it. He's a really smart boy. So I worked on his bowing the first day, and I used carrots on him for his reward after he got start bowing decent. And it was quick, I mean, within one hour session, he was going down for me that first day, which that's unusual, so don't expect them kind of results. So the next day I walked over there, went over there to work the horse, and I had him tied up to the rail, getting ready to saddle and everything, and he saw a carrot in my back pocket. And I wasn't even in his pen yet. I just, like I said, I just had him tied up and getting everything prepared to work with him. And <laughs> little burger, when he saw that carrot in my back pocket, he bowed right there. He tried to bow while he was tied up. So, you know, it depends on the horse. And like I said earlier, all horses are not, don't even waste your time teaching them tricks because they just, you can probably get it, get them to bow and stuff, but it's not worth it because they just, like I said, Horses are like us, they all got their niche dislikes and certain things. So, but you know, all my philosophy, my principles is in my book, Be True to a Horse. It's, uh, it's on Amazon.com or you go to my web page and I got a leak to Ex Libras, my publicist. And also, you know, on my clinics. My thing with my clinics is empower you I people. Tell you can get that horse to respect you and be want where that horse wants to be with you. Like you saw my uh, that one video of third time the charm. Yeah, you get them where they be with you and they want to be with you. Said, I really appreciate everybody who did, has been following my career for all these years and hope for many years to come. And the new people that are starting to get interested in me and everything I really appreciate that you y'all out there don't know what it means to me one foot at a time it all falls together pretty quick if you try to look at the big picture real fast it's gonna fall apart so be true to yourself be true to the horse and also as I always say be true to the horse and they'll be true to you <laughs>